So hello again and welcome to Chipmunk of Power Writing Love. We're outside today because it is it's gorgeous out here. So I thought I'd do just some kind of impromptu video. I had a video plan, but it's gorgeous out here. So here we are outside. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me because this is a new camera and people are mowing them, their lawns and the birds are tweeting and traffic's going by. So we'll see how this all goes. So I thought maybe today I'd go over some things about starting your own writing YouTube channel. A lot of us have thought about it, not so many of us have done it, and some of us have done it, but it's kind of hard to keep up with it. Well, I, it is very hard to keep up with. It is very hard to keep up with. <laughs> some of the things to consider if you're thinking about starting a writing YouTube channel Generally, if you want to start a YouTube channel, there's some things to consider just right off the bat. First of all, do you have a camera? I mean, do you have any camera? Like, any camera at all will do because you can always work your way up. Any sort of equipment. When I started, I had this big clunky camera. I mean, it's like, it was a pro film camera. A really nice one, but not so modern. So now I've got my fancy new camera that I'm really excited about. But you don't even need that. You can use the camera in your laptop. You can use your phone, whatever works. The other thing you're gonna need is you. That's basically it. How many writing channels are just people talking to the camera and probably squinting at the camera because it's so bright out. I'm sorry about that. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that with your video? That's another thing to think about. Do What do you want to do in it? What's your approach going to be? Do you want to be like a writing vlog? Is it all going to be just about you and your daily writing life? Or are you going to do something different? Are you going to offer advice? Are you going to do interviews? Some people only do author interviews. Are you going to have a hodgepodge, a mixture, which is kind of what I do here. I like to do, my favorite thing to do is uh, comedy sketches about writing. I love doing those. They are a lot of work and it's hard to do them on my own, so I don't do them as much as I like, but they are my favorite thing. But I want my channel to be all about writing. So I do, well, I'm going to do interviews in the future. I do sketches, I do informational videos. So just a whole well-rounded mixture. You may not want to do that. You might want to do something else, but that is up to you. Of course, another major thing if you're going to do a YouTube channel is do you have the time? because they are time consuming. Even if you're just going to do short videos, like a couple minutes, you're still going to have to be able to edit them. Even if you're just sitting here talking to the camera, you're going to have to edit out. There's going to be a lot of, lots of ums and ers and ahs, and you're going to say things wrong, and you're going to have to redo them. Now this is especially if you're working from a script. Scripts can be so helpful even if you're just sitting here talking to the camera. I'm sitting here just talking to the camera without a script and it's taking me forever because I'm thinking as I go what I want to say. So this is going to make my filming time even longer. So a script is very helpful. Now if you're a writer, that takes up your writing time. Most of my time nowadays, because I already have limited writing time, most of my writing time is taken up by writing YouTube scripts. So you're gonna have to factor that in. What else do I wanna say? See, it's so hard without a script. Then of course there are factors like, what's gonna be your background? I switched cameras to my GoPro, which has a very wide angle lens. So I used to film in front of my bookcase and I can't film there anymore because it not only shows my bookcase, it shows everything around it, which I don't want to be in the picture. <laughs> so when I tried to film there with my GoPro, the GoPro was like right here in front of me. It was ridiculous. And I couldn't hold any props. I couldn't move because I was gonna bump the camera. <laughs> so a good background is something to consider. Something that's not too busy, that's not gonna take attention away from you, but something interesting. You don't want it just a barrel roll. 
Now, when I started YouTube, I did some research first. That's very helpful. Go on YouTube. There's tons of videos on there about how to make YouTube videos, which is a great way to get views. Oh my gosh. Go on there and find some YouTube tutorials. Those are incredibly helpful. I will tell you the main thing most of them said, and that is just start. As long as you have a camera, just start. It doesn't matter how good or bad your video is. It really doesn't just get started because that is, that can be one of the hardest things to do is to just go ahead and do it. You can come up with so many ways to talk yourself out of it and to go, oh, but I need this. Oh, I still need that. It, writers especially, we're great procrastinators. You've got your camera and you've got an idea of what you're going to say, then just go ahead, get started. Another thing to consider is what is your focus going to be? Like I said before, are you going to just be sitting here talking to the camera? Is it going to be about you? Um, of course, your focus is going to be writing, but is it going to be a vlog? Is it going to have comedy sketches like I do? Is, is it going, you know, what is your focus going to be? Because every video channel that has any kind of success has a niche or a, a niche. I'm never sure how to pronounce that. I know how to spell it. <laughs> but, so figure out what your thing is going to be and stick to that. Don't veer off into other topics or you can change up your form. You can change it up after time and maybe say, I'm going to do this type of video and I'm going to do that type of video. You might want to give your audience a heads up at that point. But for the most part, stick to what you're doing because that's what your audience is going to come there for. That's what they're going to expect. And that's why they're going to stick with you and not go someplace else. Now, another thing, <laughs> another thing is are you doing YouTube to make money? Because that, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. A, a handful of people, basically, out of all the millions and millions of YouTube videos, a handful of people are making money. I hope to make some money on this down the line so that I can put it back into my channel and make it better. Um, but I don't ever expect to become a YouTube millionaire. That's just, that's not going to happen, basically. Um, I never say never. I shouldn't say that. Never say never. But it's extremely unlikely. Do it because you enjoy it. Do it because you enjoy it. And you kind of have to enjoy it because, like I say, it's a lot of work. It's more work than you think it will be. It is more work than you think it will be because there are the scripts to write and videos to plan out. Um, I'm actually not much of a tech type person so I bought a planner a physical planner and planned out my videos for every day uh, that I post and put you know I, I make little check marks like do I have to write this yet do I have to edit it do I have to pick a thumbnail music and I can just check those off and that helps me to keep organized to figure out where I'm at also, if you're going to be writing scripts and have them on a particular topic, you may have to do research. Full honesty, the video I was supposed to have up today, and I've actually had supposed to have this, ha I'm actually supposed to have had this for the last couple of months, is an entirely different video, which I have to do a lot of research on. And I just haven't gotten to it. I've been very busy with other things. Excuses, excuses. I haven't done it. So I decided to do this little impromptu video chat instead. So it's a lot of work. It is. And you have to really want to do it in order to stick with it. Writing YouTube channel, it's um, basically a lot like any other channel. It is, of course, writing centric and stay focused on that. Um, are you going to focus on your own writing or are you going to promote other writers? There are so many places you can take this and it's very exciting, but I mainly want to say don't be discouraged. There are a lot of writing channels out there, so what's one more? Go ahead. Other people were doing it, why not you? Believe me, I, I am doing it and I really don't know what I'm doing but I'm learning. I'm learning every day. 
and it's it's fun sometimes it's daunting like oh nobody's watching nobody cares but that's not true um i keep trying to um just let people know that i have it don't be pushy don't, oh god no don't ever be pushy and try to sell yourself um i sh i should say like on writer twitter especially <laughs> yeah people don't like that I shouldn't say tr not try to sell yourself. Do, do try to sell yourself, but don't be pushy. Be friendly. Be personable. Sell you. Sell you. You yourself as the real person. Because that's who people are tuning in to see. No matter what your channel's about. Your, yes. Do not offer writing advice so much as your perspective on writing. That's the writing advice you can give. I was daunted about offering writing advice. I'm like, well, what do I know, really? Well, I, I offer a different perspective. That's all anybody does who gives advice. Even people who are successful authors, they might know a thing or two about writing, but mostly becoming successful as an author, it's like anything else it's so much perspiration and it's so much imagination and it's so much luck there are so many good writers out there who haven't been discovered and they will have things to say about writing that will help you and they may not have things to say about writing that will help you and it's the same thing with successful writers you have a perspective that's all your own so uh, don't be afraid to offer that up don't be afraid to do that. Oh, and come up with ideas. I have my ideas notebook. I almost always have it on hand. It's filled with notes about YouTube, but also a list of ideas. And this goes on for pages and pages. <laughs> of course, with all that, uh, here I am just making a uh, video on the fly, but that's gonna happen too. Sometimes you just don't feel like you have the time to write a script or to do anything. And you just might feel like doing something else. That's okay, too. It doesn't always have to be planned. Yeah, so just to recap, just start with what you have. And be yourself. Because that's who people are tuning in to see. So my kids will be home soon, so i got to wrap this up. But I, I hope you uh, got some help and encouragement from this video. And if you have any ideas about your own writing videos and you're looking for specific advice comment below uh, i always check the comments always read and try to reply uh, give this video a like if you found it helpful or don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon because that gives you notifications when there are new videos so you definitely want to do that it's very helpful i will see you next week and until then write with power